Yep, that's that's a reset. All right, so once we're in right here, we want to pick some certain um, approach angles. So certain entries and stuff. Oh, it's first time. Guys, this is a first time casino heist here, and we just skipped the cutscene. All right. Beautiful. So for the entrance on Silent and Sneaky, we normally go through waste disposal for the entrance. Uh, for the exit, we always go staff lobby. Staff lobby exit. Buyer is always high value buyer. And normally I will buy the gunman decoy. You don't have to though. All right. So like I said, we have a 3% hacker. Yeah. Um, Big Red just picked the lowest ones for everything. So blocked in the 3%. Obviously, this is his first time doing it, so it's what you got told. Who told you that? I don't think I ever told you to pick Ricky. You guys remember the first casino heist we ever did when they came out? We did every setup. We did maintenance approach, got alerted instantly, and then went through the entire casino heist loud. And when, with four players, after doing all the setups, taking like two hours to prepare it, we got like a collective like 400,000 from the vault and we each got like an 80,000 cut or something like that. All right, look at that. He's already familiar with the car strats. We always stop over here. We run on in. And now she's business as usual. Usual, usual. We uh we sprint three cameras. Don't spend time in them. I'll I'll take guards out. Only the ones we need to take out. All the other ones we can ignore and just move past. And the EMP you have access to, we save that for the way out. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Never saw you coming. I think it's just one guy in there, so you can actually... Well, well that works, but yeah, I was going to say, you can actually just open the store and go in. So another pro tip for guards inside, like on Silent and Sneaky. Um, any guards, well, any guards that are wearing suits, like the full suits, you can, uh, you can shoot them in the body and they instantly die. Now, any guards that are, like, wearing, like, a button-up shirt on top or whatever, and jeans, these ones normally have armor, and for whatever reason, you still can't one-tap them without the armor like you can the other guys. But the suit guys, one bullet to the body or the head, whatever, kills them. These guys, normally we just smack, so that's why, like, we normally don't bother with taking the armor off, because you can still smack them in one hit, even with armor. So just save time on setups. We, we always want to move as a group through the staircase. If you leave, if you leave somebody behind, above or below, it causes weird things to happen with the guards, like it loads ones in down below and might load other ones in up top. So we'll wait here for Mr. Moo to get out of the vault. 54k, that's a pretty mid daily vault. Fast down the staircase, we got a we got a um a camera there, so you want to zoom through that. Oh my god. Oh now we're getting into the real hood certified hood classics. Holy. Alright, run through down here. Swipe when you're ready, sir. There it is. There's the swipey. And we are officially in this vault, gamers. The time is going to be real tight in here, Moo. We're both going to have to do some hacking. Uh, Red, you just start grabbing ones in the middle as soon as you can. Oh, look, they're in sync. I feel like I'm watching synchronized swimming with this music playing. Synchronized drilling in GTA heists. Oh, yeah. So I'd try and keep it around like the orange, like 700 degrees or whatever. Calm yet chaotic. Cash on the carts. Grab it. Grab it. All right, yeah, two minutes in here. Holy crap. We gotta lock in, dog. All right, there we go. It's only one hack per door, too, so that helps a lot as well. All right, got my two doors done. Two doors down. Make that one more, and you got a band. Three door down. There we go. See, this is the problem with cash. Cash is worth the least, and look how much you have to grab. Like, how many individual stacks of cash there is. It is more than the amount of gold bars, and I think it's equivalent to how many diamond stacks you have to grab. All right, also remember, we got to get out of here, so, like, we want to be leaving at, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> I don't have any time to grab anymore, unfortunately. 
All right, get me off. Look at that, the freaking drill thing is still going right there. That's crazy. All right, gamers, get this door open. Let's skedaddle. Ooh. Bro, you guys just gotta wait. Oh yeah, all right, there you go. Check so out. now when we get to the doors here, you're gonna open your phone and you're gonna activate the secure serve hack and it's gonna go dark in here and then we're gonna move on through. There we go. Uh, we can probably double vault, I guess. Remember, it's always the, wait, are we screwed? Oh no, this happened, this has happened before where you swipe the door and you can't get out. Hold on. Yeah, if, if you swipe beforehand, like, sometimes it gets stuck. So the game has done an update where it's now bugged and stuck again. I guess we could just try this. Oh my god, it went without him. All right, bro, you just got to go up the elevator. It should be down there. Stay away from that guy over there. Screw that. All right, it's time to go. Just get through there while the guy's not close. He can't hear it. He's deaf. And we're out in a relatively scuffed casino heist. We prevail. This is this is still on first attempt right now. We, we haven't had a reset here yet. That leads me to believe that we're in a state of the game once again. Whatever, whatever the last update was, apparently scuffed the game to the point where we can't uh, we can't do the swipe ahead of time anymore. The door like soft locks if we do that unless maybe it has to do with us being like on the first run like maybe the first run is weird all right well these guys are this guy's aware of us so don't fuck around with me shithead got a car right here bro Thankfully, the heli actually shows up. That was another concern I was thinking of in my brain. Like, oh god, that would not be great. Especially considering we took this Jeep and not actually the getaway car. Right. Oh, yep. That's that's a reset. No way you survived. No way this man jumped off the roof and managed to survive it. I've never seen that in my life. <laughs> that is bizarre. Usually, jumping or slipping off the roof there is certain death. Like 99% of the time, that's certain death. That's crazy. Landed down here. I like that. Good call. Good call. All right, let's go. Holy shit. Yeah, the fact you're able to pull your parachute there blows my mind. That is very lucky. Normally, the game will not give you the option. I cannot believe this run. Everything about this run should have not succeeded how it has. This is the most bizarre no quick restart run I've ever seen. I'm curious to see what our final time is on this. It's like, it's definitely not elite time. I'm this, this somehow potentially could have been an elite run still. You know what? Nationwide was on our side with this one that is for sure boom bitch you panicked when you jumped over the side yeah me too at that point i thought we were done 
like that there there's no coming back from jumping off the roof but you have defied the laws of everything i know about grand theft auto you know that could have been an elite run if uh if the timer was 20 minutes instead of 15 wowzers wow zares like in my brain like obviously we left Lou behind that much we know we had to take the elevator up that usually results like in an alert we all didn't go up the elevator at the same time two of us went up you were still flopping around down there and then still managed to get up without like guards down below like triggering somehow and yeah that roof thing that roof thing is ridiculous absolute insanity oh yeah and now we get to see the hottest cutscene in Grand Theft Auto. Get your parasocials out. Oh yeah, Lester, get it, boy. Yay! How did you hack my cell phone? You're going to have to look harder for that. Whoa! Lester looking mean in that leather as well. You look like a Bosnian guy you hired for 50 bucks outside of Costco. Uh, the, the way you describe your own character is insane. I can't tell if he degrades himself or not. Where's my $50, mister? You should have earned more than that from that heist, bruv. 